And disciples came to Jesus and they asked him, say, Jesus, teach us how to pray. And Jesus gives them how to pray. And he starts out, he says, when you pray, pray like this. Our Father, which is in heaven. And it's interesting because disciples are asking Jesus to teach them how to pray. And Jesus turns the focus from how to pray to who we are praying to. Because mostly every religion in this world is focused and has certain techniques, principles, guidelines, rules and regulations on how one should address a deity. They have certain requirements of how you pray, how long do you pray, what do you wear during prayer, how do you fast and every single thing. And disciples wanted to get something fresh and something new of how to address God. But in return, Jesus surprises them by changing their focus from the principle, technique and the method of prayer to the person of prayer. We have to understand that God doesn't want you to learn more about prayer. He wants you to learn more about Him. Because in Christianity, it's not about prayer. It's about a person. When we focus on prayer and prayer becomes the reason for prayer, it becomes a discipline. It becomes something challenging. It becomes difficult. It becomes that sour lemon face. The word prayer makes you just kind of, your smile disappears. Because you know what that means. It's symbolic of running five miles. There's no pleasure in that. It's a discipline. It becomes a rigid, old, cold, lukewarm. It, it, it's a difficult task. But Jesus switches the prayer and he says prayer is not about a discipline. When a prayer is about a person, prayer is a delight. When a prayer is about prayer, it becomes a discipline. The biggest thing about text messages that teaches me about prayer, and I've discovered that personally when I was just, me and my wife started to develop a romantic relationship. And my wife was separated from me by a distance of three and a half hours. She lived in Vancouver, Washington. I lived in Troy Cities where we both reside now. And when she lived there every single day, I would send her text messages. This is the way I communicated with her. And one month, that month that we discovered each other, I had a bill and I looked at the bill and I had 9,000 text messages sent in one month. I was shocked. It's almost three times more than a teenage girl. <laughs> In middle school now and when I looked at that bill do you know why I sent 9,000 text messages in that month not because I discovered text messages not because I was a junior higher finally discovered that I could text other people that wasn't the case and let me tell you another reason why I sent 9,000 text messages. it wasn't because I fell in love with texting I was in love with Lana that's why I enjoy texting prayer is like text messages God does not want us to fall in love with prayer God wants us to fall in love with him and then prayer becomes enjoyable when prayer is not enjoyable it's not the problem with prayer it's the problem with love when you dread prayer and you say I hate prayer don't like prayer don't practice prayer it's not one of the things I enjoy and it's not the prayer that you have problem with it's the relationship that's the issue and so we have to understand is that the Bible doesn't command us to fall in love with prayer. And there are many people say, you know, I love prayer. It's like getting up and saying, I love text messages. That is bad if you're married. Because you shouldn't be loving text messages. You should be loving the person you are texting to. The point is not to fall in love with prayer. And some of you here, you may not love prayer. That is fine. But prayer becomes very enjoyable when the person you are talking to in prayer, you love. That's why when disciples ask Jesus, teach us how to text. And he says, it's not about how to text. You have to know who you're going to text first. And once you know who you're going to text, it will go easily. When you are in love with somebody, you don't have to force yourself to text. You have to hold yourself back not to text. <laughs> Some of you in here who are right now in that season of maybe developing a relationship with somebody. You, don't, you, you didn't put as one of your New Year's resolutions to send five text messages every single day. 
actually your resolutions and one of the things you repented is God help me to send less than 50 a day because it's not hard to send a lot of text messages and to share a lot of love when you're in love it doesn't take a discipline it's a pure delight and that's why Jesus says our father which is in heaven he redirects prayer from prayer to a person because the tendency of a religion is to shift prayer to a prayer a rule of sets and techniques and regulations and methods and different ways we can do it and it becomes rigid and only the people with the strongest discipline those who run four miles every day just for fun wake up at five in the morning and drink only five gallons of water every single day those are the guys who can do it and the rest of us no no the only prayer I'm gonna pray is Lord as I lie down to sleep you keep my soul or whatever the prayer goes and before the before the food and that's all but honestly God does not want prayer to be for spiritual people God wants prayer to be for people who are in love people who love him and those he loves deeply prayer becomes enjoyable when its focus is on him instead of it